Nigerian Air Force Alpha Jet has gone missing during an air interdiction mission in battle with the Boko Haram insurgents in Borno State in the northeast. Sarah reporters learned that the fighter jet went missing on Wednesday around 5 p.m. amid fears that it might have been captured or shot down by the Boko Haram terrorists, who are now being aided by a more deadly faction, the Islamic State West African Province fighters. The Nigeria Air Force in a release confirmed the missing Alpha jet, noting that the details of the whereabouts of the aircraft were still sketchy. The NAF Director of Public Relations and Information Air Commando, Edward Gabwet, said a NFA Alpha jet has lost contact with radar in Borno State while on interdiction mission in support of ground troops. The mission was part of the ongoing con insurgency operations in the northeast the loss of radar contact occurred at about 5:08 p.m on 31st march 2021 details of the whereabouts of the aircraft or likely cause of contact loss are still sketchy but will be relayed to the general public as soon as they become clear meanwhile search and rescue efforts are ongoing hmm. they better do the, be the right thing or the better do the right thing my question is that how can a whole self sovereign nation we always talk about sovereign nation sovereign nation how can a, a, a group who is not a nation be having more upper hand over a sovereign nation that uh, we always talk about some people will tell you that uh, oh the government knows about it people always try to call to call to relate it with the uh, statements or relate to the statement of uh, the former head of state, Sonia Abacha, that if any uh, trouble or any whatever, whether insurgency or any attack, if it persists more than 24 hours, it shows that the government is aware about it. Of course, a lot of people do not even trust this government. The masses do not even trust governments. I don't know whether it is like that in other countries. Even if it is like that on, in other countries, the percentage might be, might be low. Because you can't trust the government. Of course, government all, all the time they want to do things that might not be possible, might not be, uh, you know, comfortable with the masses most of the time. But when it comes to Nigeria, the God, the, the masses do not have a bit trust whatsoever. No matter how minute it is, as far as Nigerian government is concerned, the masses do not have trust in them. You can see the way they are treating the masses. They don't even care about the masses. They always tell you that they, the, the unity of the country is indivisible is not negotiable is, is not negotiable you know all those kind of things and they are not helping the the masses out there's nothing the masses are getting they will come and tell you that they are doing a, a lot of programs here and there to support the poor but now 33 percent points 33 percent point something is our uh, unemployment rate which is very very bad and they are still justifying it i had listened to one of these APCs whatever of course you don't expect them to say the right thing they know that everything is not perfect that's what they are going to be telling you but before when before they came on board you know it's just always like that so the government that does not even care about the people whether they live or they they, they are thriving is none of their business then you expect the masses to trust them and with the way the government has been handling this insurgency since they came on board it's even more different from the way the previous government you know was handling the whole thing so when this kind of a thing happens you see people begin to say their own mind they don't even care there's there's no this uh patriotism is no longer there the people the same people who are the end of affair do not even give the people room to be patriotic how can you be patriotic to a country that does not benefit you it's only benefits them so you begin to hear a lot of things. People are not even concerned that whatever that happens is none of their business. In as much the government is not even concerned or does not care about the masses. You know, they will not be sympathetic to this whole thing that is happening. But it's a very, very uh, bad, bad omen. It's now a confirmation because some people will not say, ah, hey, what is it called? Sarah Reporter is always doing this and that. The Nigeria Air Force... Uh, whatever has confirmed it, which is very, very bad. It's not looking too good. How can a group be more sophisticated, more powerful than a sovereign country, which we have the money? But where does uh, do all the money go? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, ha, this is disgusting for Nigeria as a country. Ordinary child defeated Boko Haram on ground, but Nigeria has, has modern weapons that many African countries jet Boko Haram 
um, is superior than them. How all those who have have had uh, this will never know peace because they are disgracing us globally. After bombing innocent civilians in Olu, the zoo fighter jet has been been from one misfortune to another. Who said we are not serving a living God? That is a, another person's opinion. Uh, reactions to that. Uh, someone is saying, where did the Chad defeat Boko Haram? Someone says, oh, boy, wake up oh, from your slumber. This one does not know. <laughs> and did you hear Boko Haram operation in Chad or the running into Chad since Chad army ambushed them? You know, some days back, the Chadian president came to Nigeria, said he's going to help Nigeria, and everybody just to to hand Boko Haram. Everybody just like you can imagine. They, the political way is not there. Some of them, even the governor of Ekiti State, he was being interviewed in, on Chinese television. And he said the same thing. He said the political way, if the government has a political way to do it, things will be okay. And for him to have just said that little thing, it, it, it speaks volume. It speaks volume if you if you understand that they are in the same party, the same people who are parading themselves. They don't have anything to offer. If all of them do have things to offer, and I just laugh uh, at those people who are defecting from a, one party to another, joining APC. They think in their own it is a sign of uh, a strength that people are joining them. They are a bunch of uh, failures in the sense that if you have what it takes, like I said, those who have been in the party before you, now like a bank only and a Ulu, uh, Benga Danet. I say, what do these people have to offer? What do you have to offer? Some of them will be telling you, oh, PDP is marginalizing them. I just look at them. Unserious people. That is the statement of, of unserious people. The people who have been in APC could not even suggest, could not even tell themselves they, or not to go about to this country. And some of them are running a task that they want to be president. Yeah, you are, yes, you are in that party that's supposed to give you, if you know what it takes or what it takes to make a, a country better. You should have suggested it to them, not until when you come on, on board. So that is it. That is the way I see it. The same lies. But the unfortunate thing there is that a lot of gullible people will fall in for all this uh, 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 trash. They will fall in for it. But people are getting to know better. It's a gradual process. You know, it, it will get to a time. These people, all of them, will, they will not. They will run to say they want to be. They want to be. They want to be politicians because it. As at that time, it will not. It will not be lucrative. It will not be juicy because people are getting more knowledge day and day, day by day. So it's just unfortunate, really, really unfortunate that uh, we are in this kind of a thing, a country that's supposed to be a sovereign country. Well, who are they deceiving? Some of the weapons Nigeria are buying is for Boko Haram and baptized bandits so that the North will have enough weapons to fight Biafra and Rudua. We know all your plans. Continue. Yes, anybody can say anything because you can't even trust the government. Because the way they are going about this whole thing is so tiring. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment down below and let's know your thoughts.